Okay, so we'll start with our prayers. Everybody together. Om Ajnana Timirana Om Ajnana Timirana हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा भूत कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वेरी गुड ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ आवर वर्सेस ओके सो नाउ यू से दैट यू हैव मेमोराइज राइट यस माता जी हरे कृष्णा ओके सो माता जी जगन्नाथ जॉइन हरे कृष्णा जगन्नाथ सो नाइस दैट यू जॉइन हरे कृष्णा माता जी आई जस्ट जॉइन कृष्णा ओके हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा सो नाइस दैट यू जॉइन ओके सो वी विल रिवाइज विद दिस वर्स एवरीबॉडी वंस टुगेदर विल से ओके नैनम कृष्ण ओके फर्स्ट रामचंद्र देन आशुतोष एंड देन कृष्ण ओके वेरी गुड नाम Yes, 
are indicated by any weapon. Not only be burned by fire, nor melted by water, nor weathered by wind. Okay, so now we are going to have some questions over this, okay? So now if I ask you, okay, can be true or false? A sword can be cut into pieces. False. 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 Okay, now again one more thing. Now that you all are growing big, right? So when you say something is false, I want you to tell me what is the true answer for it. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now the, you said that the soul, you said wrong, right? So what is the true answer? The soul uh, cannot cut, be cut into pieces by any weapon. It's oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pieces by any weapon. Every existing and prime Okay. So then now, okay, now I want to ask one more question. Why Are you climatic? Yes. The voice is breaking. Actually. Okay, you know what? Those who are not answering, you can mute yourself. And when you are answering, you can unmute. So that everybody will be able to hear. Everyone can answer, no worries. But just mute it, unmute and then answer. Okay? Okay, so the question is, why is it that the soul cannot be cut into pieces? Because it's eternal as it is. Because it's eternal. Because it's eternal. Okay, what does eternal mean? Eternal means it'll never die. Okay. Very it'll never die. Where, okay, eternal means it never dies. That means, what does exactly that mean? How how can you simplify? I do not know anything about it. Can you please explain? The body can die, but the soul can never die. So does that mean that the soul has its own existence? Yes. And yes. the soul is such, such a dhananda. Yes, very good. Who answered that? Jagannath. Very good, Jagannath. So the soul has its own existence, okay? So the soul will never be cut into pieces, nor any weapons. So then, what happens when the, when the person dies? What happens? The body dies. The body dies. The body dies. And the soul goes to another body. Okay. So, if I have to ask you one question over here, okay, I will just, because it is related to our work, so we will go directly to that slide, okay? Okay. Okay, so if I ask you a question, what does this picture tell us? That the life cycle is from birth to death. That's in stages of the body. Okay. It, it, it turns from young to old and then it dies. Okay. Now, okay, I'll, I'll be asking some kids, okay? Uh, I want Ramachandra to answer. Others can mute yourself. Okay, Ramachandra, what do you understand from this picture? I understand that the the um the body is growing and growing and growing and growing but then once it gets to old age it's decreasing decreasing and decreasing and then the body dies and then the soul goes to a different body okay i want Anna to explain Anna, what is the difference between the body when it was at a baby stage and an adult stage when it's in the there is no difference except that it's growing. It is growing. Very good. What else? Is there any... Okay, I want Akshita to answer. Akshita, is the body when it is an adult the same as it is when it's a baby? Stop it. Akshita? This one is that the body. Is, is this when the body, the body is... Of a, yeah, when the body is of a baby and when it is of a grown man. Is the is the do the do they look same? No. Okay. No. So we look, we look yes. old. 
Yes, the body is different, the changing, right? But is the soul same? Yes. Yes. No. yes. yes. Very yes. good. So do you understand the main difference now? That the soul is going to be the same. What is changing is the body is changing, right? When we were a baby, our body was different. When we became big, our body is more different. So that means the body keeps on changing. So what is the big deal if at the time of death, the soul thinks this body cannot take care of me now anymore. So let me leave this body and go to another body. So is there any big difference over there? Should it be more difference? No. Okay, so my question was like, you should not be just like Lord Krishna told Arjuna that you should not lament when a soul is leaving the body because just as like when you were a small boy and when you became an old, uh, uh, old man, the body was changing just like that the soul is going to change its body completely. Okay, so there is no need to lament over the changing of the body. Do you cry? Do you cry when it is winter? Do you uh, laugh when it is summer? No. I'm trying to find the spot where to put it. Yes, because these seasons are going to change, and we do not need to be happy or sad when any season is changing, or coming or going. So this was our first verse, right? Nainam chinnanti shastrani. Nainam dhani pavaka. Nashai nam kleda yantopu. Okay, so now we are going with the second verse now, okay? Who is the one to tell me the second verse? Nandini. Nandini, go ahead. Rajayate Briyate Vakadachi Nayam Budva Bhavita Vana Bhuya. Ajanyatya Shakrata Yamurakano Nahanyate Hanyamane Sharive. Okay, so we have Hari. Ashutosh. Yes, Ashutosh, go ahead. Rajayate Briyate Vakadachi Nayam Budva Bhavita Vana Bhuya. Ajonitya Shasato Yampurano Nahanyate Hanyamane Sharide. Okay, I see you came up to over here. Rama Shanta. Who is Vinaya Mataji? Does Rinda want to go ahead? Yes, Mataji. Nainam Chindanti, right? Nainam Chindanti, Nashani. Nainam Bhavati Pavaka. Nachainam Kaneda Raghiyapa. Nashoshayati Marutaha. Okay, Vrinda, do you want to see the second verse as well? Yes. What is that, Mataji? Najayate. Najayate. Najayate, Bhayate, Vakarachan, Nayam, Bhava, Bhavita, Nabhoya, Adonetta, Sastatoya, Purano, Nahanate, Nyamane, Sharine. Very good. Uh, Yuki, do you want to go ahead? Akshita. Ramachandra. Akshita. Uh, Okay, Ramachandra and then Akshita. Najayate Vyate Vakadachin Nayam Bhutva Bhavita Vana Bhuya Ajonitya Shashvato Yampurana Nahanyate Hanyamani Ashari Okay, so who else is there who hasn't got a chance? Akshita. Okay, go ahead Akshita and then anybody else who hasn't got a chance, please let me know. Then we'll move ahead. Yes, Akshita, go ahead. Najaya Samriya Teva Kata Sen Nayam Bhuta Bhavita Vana Bhuya Ajonitya Shashtato Yam Purano Naham Yete Hanimane Sarire Very good. Yes, go ahead. Who is it? Um, I didn't, I didn't say um Nayanam Jinnamti. Okay, we no no worries. We will have the verse. Okay, I want the uh, translation now. Who is going to say the translation? Nandini. Yes, Nandini, go ahead. For the soul, there is never birth nor death, nor having once been 
Does he ever cease to be? He is unborn, eternal, ever existing, undying, impermissible. When the body is slain. Very good. See, this is what we explained now, right? Uh, so who we had one more Jagannath. Um, for the soul, there is never birth nor death nor having once been. Does he ha ever cease to be? He is unborn, eternal, <coughs> ever existing. Undying and primeval, he is not slain when the body is slain. Very good. Okay. So now that who is it? Chinmay. Uh, okay. Now we'll move to the next part. Okay, Chinmay, because there are many questions I'm going to ask. So don't worry. Everybody is going to get a chance. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um. Why did it say? He, the soul could be she. Okay. <laughs> yes, good question, Krishna Ashkash. Okay, for the soul, there is never good. One second, huh? I just have to see if I have taken it from the right. Now. One second. Ashkash, just give me one minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, soul. What? <laughs> okay, I'll explain it to you maybe sometime again, Ashutosh, okay? <laughs> Who is it? Who is laughing? Ashutosh. Ashutosh? I'll have to check with you again. Okay, so. What is the Bhagavad Gita we explained last time? See, this is going to be a revision we are doing, okay? We are doing this revision and today we will be doing the revision of two chapters. Because once we have revision, then what do we have? Test. 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 Okay, and this time you do not have to worry about the homework because it was a very short, uh, short uh, class. So we are going to do all the homework over here. And then I want you all to answer. And you'll be graded accordingly to that. And then next week we'll have your test. Which is going to be very, very easy. Because you all have to say. Okay. Okay, so what is the Bhagavad Gita exactly? Who can tell me the Bhagavad Gita? What is it? The song of God. The divine song of God. So we explain this. The divine God. The divine God from Lord Krishna. The song of God. The divine song of God. The song of God. Yes. The song of God. Okay. That, but in simple terms, you know what? I do not understand all these fancy terms. Can you tell me what exactly was the Bhagavad Gita? Who said to whom? Where they said it? So it is basically and Krishna broke. But then it got broken and then now we don't know. Okay, so Krishna speaking to Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And as Ashutosh said, yes, it was not said the first time. It was said by the sun god to his son, to Vishwan, to Manu, okay? And then on this, in this material world, when uh, the life forms were there, that time it was that Lord Krishna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, he instructed Arjuna, okay? Now, who is going to tell me why was it that Krish, uh, Arjuna needed these instructions? Because he didn't know what it was. Ramachandra. And he saw all he of it. He saw all of it. Okay. Very good. Yes, Ramachandra. Very good, Ashutosh. Yes, Ramachandra. He didn't know what it was. He saw all his friends and friends on the, on the, um, on the, on the Korva side. So he didn't want to, um, kill them or do anything harmful to them. So he asked Krishna, what should I do? 
Very good. So now tell me, uh, what did Arjuna do at the end? Arjuna, Arjuna, Arjuna fight is in the war. Okay, oh, but was yeah. fighting not bad? Fighting is bad, right? But it was his duty. But it was his duty to but fight. Yeah. But how did he know that it was his duty? Yeah, because because the Okay, but how did Arjuna know that it was his duty to fight? Who told him? Yes. Who said Lord Krishna? Akshita. Yes. Okay. Everybody on mute, okay now? Yes. Okay, everyone on mute now. Okay, so on the battlefield field when Arjuna was bewildered, everybody on mute please so that you can all understand. Okay, on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, when Arjuna was bewildered, when Arjuna did not know what to do. Okay, on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, when, when Arjuna did not know what to do, that time Lord Krishna instructed him that you have to fight, right? So, though we know that fighting is bad, what we should understand is that Lord Krishna had instructed Arjuna that you have to fight, okay? Now I want you to answer me in this. Do we face such problem anywhere? And what should we do? Yes, we do. Then what should we do? We should say the Hare Krishna Mama and pray for Krishna. Then what will happen? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Then what will happen? When I say the Hare Krishna Mama Mantra, when I am in some problem, then what will happen exactly? The good, the opposite will happen. The good part will happen. Okay, that means, okay, everybody should listen to this, okay? Because this is very, very important. When such a condition appears in your life, okay, you should be praying to Krishna that he can show you some guidance. And whatever the path Lord shows, you will come to know because Krishna... See, we are not that pure souls, right? That Lord Krishna comes right in front of us. But Krishna can show us way in any form of his way. You can just open the Bhagavad Gita and you might find your answer over there. So always remember, whatever you are learning over here, it is not for an exam. Kids, just remember everyone. Whatever you are learning in these classes, Govinda class, Damodar class, Madhava class, it is not for your exam that you are learning. You have to learn to implement it, okay? When there is a trouble, suppose you have your exam tomorrow and you feel, you know what, now I'm very tense. Just chant one round of your chanting and do that properly. That will cool your mind. Okay? So we will now go to the next part. This is... Okay, so we asked a question over here. What does this picture tell you? So we'll have the answer also. What does the picture tell you? As a person puts on new garments, giving up the old ones, the soul similarly accepts new material bodies, giving up the old and useless ones. Okay? We can always explain this as an term Mataji? also. Yes? Uh, I know that um, place is from somewhere. Sorry? I know, I know that place is from somewhere. It was in the Bhagavad Gita. Yes, yes. Now, why did we come to this material world? We have learned this in the past, right? We have learned this in the spiritual world. Because we must all stay with Krishna. Why? Very good. So all answers. We wanted to become the boss. Yes, very nice. Okay? We wanted to become the boss, we wanted to have our free will, we wanted to know that why am I serving Krishna, why not serve me, why only Krishna. So we became, there is one important word, what is it? We became? Glorious. 
Yeah. 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 So we became envious of Krishna and that is the reason we came back to this material world. Okay? When you are, see, when you Can have... See, when you're saying uh, we came back to this material world, does that mean that we were already there? No, we came to this material world and then we are still stuck up over here. Okay? What your mind okay. is breaking. Sorry? Your voice was breaking. Okay, so we came to this material world. Okay, now we have, so can we read over here? This is greed, lust, ignorance, ignorance, false prestige, pride, 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 these are not good things. These yeah. are all the anarthas. What it is called as? Anartha. Anartha. The anarthas which we have. Okay. Anarthas means these are the bad practices oh, yeah. which we have. And so habits or practices or something. Yes. And because of this bad habit, we are still stuck up in this world. And because of these bad habits, we cannot. Though we are chanting. We are not paying attention to our chanting. We are having all sorts of thoughts. Okay? So we have to chant and chant and chant and chant. And let each one of these steps go ahead. Keep walking ahead. Keep walking ahead. Till you go to the spiritual abode of Lord Krishna. Okay? And who is over here you see? Who is there? Very good. The Guru who is going to guide us. So once we are up out of this prestige, out of this attachment, out of ignorance, then we will go over there. Okay? So if we ask us, so somebody asks you, then why are we stuck up in this material world? Because of what? There are so many things. Because of and our last and and very good. So in the exam, if I ask you, why is it that we are stuck in this material world? Would you be able to answer me? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. of the anarthas. Because of the anarthas. And then you can name it. Okay. Lust, anger, greed. Okay. So now, what does this picture tell us? Did you learn in the first chapter? That we're a fish out of water and we're giving gold the fish out of water is that we're in the fish. And why not the fish is out of the water. I okay, I know that we're diving. And that is being a fish out of the water, a hot dog, money. <laughs> so is the fish happy having everything? No, no. Wow. Oh, it's because it's out of the water. Okay. It, it does not like the water? It likes it the water. Oh. It, w it wants to go back to its home. Mataji? 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 Yes, yes. I heard a story one time about a fish do like coming out of the water and um people try to make you happy. So what will he be happy if the fish is out of water? No. 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 Okay. Then what will be what will make the fish happy? I am giving it so many things and why is the fish not happy? Water. Okay, so now tell me, how is it applicable for our spiritual life? Why is this example given over here for me? Because we're out of the and we have to go to the spiritual world. I am not able to hear. Someone, only one person, one person answer me first. Mataji. Yes. Because uh, water is his home. When we go to... Yes, but fish is given. But I am not a fish. 
I can stay out of water. Why is the example of fish given over here? Can I say? Yes, can yes, go ahead. go to um, spiritual world, we will be happy. Away from home, our okay, actual home. Good. Just like the fish has water as its home, our soul has Krishna's abode as its home. And the fish, like the fish, cannot stay out of water. We should not be staying away from Krishna. Right? Mm -hmm. If the fish is away from water, it is going to die. The so same you. way, if we keep ourselves away from Krishna, our soul will be lost. Yes, somebody was saying something? Yeah, yes. Mataji, I was saying like, um, like how the fish, if it's out of the water, it's like, like the fish, um, mm -hmm. uh, like the water is home. So yes. It doesn't feel like home. And then, right. um, Right, so we are also waiting for to reach to Krishna and Krishna is also waiting for us. Very nice. Okay, so we had this question over here, right? Mataji, can I see a point? Yes, go ahead. Uh, Maya gives us lots of stuff, but we have to go back to Krishna. Yes, just like Maya gives, like just like fish, we are giving uh, what we give money, we give gold, and we give so many things. Just like that, Maya keeps us. You know what? Come, let's go for a movie. Come, let's go to the mall. Come, let's go here. Let's go there. So happy. So, but we should not be entangled into that. Okay. Okay. So now, who is our best friend? Krishna. Krishna. But. but Krishna, my best friend. I have so many other best friends. I have Vinaya Mataji as my best friend. I have Priti Vilasani Mataji as my best friend. Does Krishna go come to your help at any time? Ah, ah, very nice. That means because of what? When we have full faith on Krishna, see, Priti Vilasani Mataji is so far away. Vinaya Mataji is so far away. What will happen? When I really need some help, when help does not mean that I want something physically present, right? Sometimes my mind is disturbed. Sometimes I cannot think anything. And that time what will happen? If I remember Krishna from my whole heart, Krishna will help me. Because he is my true friend. He is my eternal father. He does not want me to be sad. Okay? But for that, what I should be doing? Only when I am sad, I should remember Krishna, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. No, I should be remembering oh. Krishna always, right? So why is Krishna yeah. best friend? No. Can somebody read this? Uh, um, even though we choose to be, 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 such a big thing, right? He came to the material world as a super soul or Paramatma. Forget about staying somewhere else. We did not even offer Krishna a place in our house as yet. But Krishna is staying in our heart as the super soul. You remember last time we did this? Okay. What does Krishna say about being the super soul? And can, is this readable? Can we read this? Yes. I am the super soul. 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 Since the beginning, the middle and the end. So we do not have to worry about anything. We do not have to think about anything. That where is Krishna? Okay. Now, uh, yes. What is this picture telling us? Yes, that to do with my spiritual life. 
Because one bird because is Krish watching. One bird is watching and Krishna is watching us whatever, whatever so act we are doing. Krishna is watching us everywhere. Okay, one very nice. Ashutosh, Ramachandra, everyone. Very nice. So one bird who is eating and enjoying and dancing and hopping and being cool and everything is, it is our soul. It is us. Right? We are enjoying and enjoying and enjoying. But this other bird is just watching. He is witness. That is the oh Paramatma. Okay? That is the Paramatma or the super soul who is witnessing each and every of our activities. And he is waiting, he is waiting that now I will be, this soul will be tired of eating this fruit. Now he might be tired of fluffing his wave, uh, uh, wing. Now he will be tired of enjoying and he will look at me. But we are so busy that we do not have time. Okay? Now who is this in this picture? And why? Very good. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And why did Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come to this world? Mataji, to give out the whole to give out the whole to give the holy name that he gave. To give the holy name because he said to everybody. Very good. So. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to this material world so that he can spread the love of Krishna. And he gave us the Maha Mantra. Can everybody repeat one? Hare Krishna. Okay. Now, okay, we'll do this, okay? In the place of Kali, Lord Krishna came as Dash. Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya. Dash spread the names of the Lord far and wide in the foreign land. You are Prabhupada. Very nice. You have, the, you have the answers over here, okay? You can choose from here. Krishna is my Dash. No wishes. No wishes. It is ever well wishes. As dash Krishna as super soul. Okay. Okay, as dash, super soul. Okay. Okay, now there's a question. What would you like to ask for from Krishna as your best friend? Oh, thank you. Okay, now I want you all to everyone, listen. Only this last question. I want every one of you to type and send it to me on the WhatsApp in the Govinda group. What would you like? I will again post this in the group. And everybody will have a different answer, right? What would you like to ask from Krishna as your best friend? You can discuss it with your uh, with your friend or your mom, your dad. And you can tell them what you want to say and they can type it for you. Can you do that for me today? Yes, yes Mataji. Very good. Yes. So the next slide, okay? Krishna is in the heart of all living beings as? Paramatma. 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 Another name of the first place? Paramatma. Krishna sends his pure devotee Dash to preach us about Krishna. Friend. 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 Krishna and the pure devotee Srila Prabhupada. And Krishna is our best friend. Friend. The Lord wants us to return home to the Ready. So you all are ready for the test, but do not forget one question, okay? I am again going to send it in the group and I want each and every one to send an answer for it. Tell your parents to type it and you can tell your parents the answer. So I think the Damodar group kids are coming, so we can end the call. Pancha Kalpa